over the last couple of years has been a noticeable growing trend in the old original sort of army camo look. Aqua have noticed that and as a result they decided to take some of their key products from their range and offer them in this lovely camo style look. Um, now obviously camo is probably a bit like Marmite really, some people prefer just plain old green, um, some people like this. It's definitely got a kind of an old schooly look, bit of a, I don't know, bit of a hardcore look about it. It's something about this camo that you relate to more sort of hardcore carp fishing. <laughs> now obviously it's not just for the hardcore carp anglers, it's just a preference thing. And personally, I think this looks ultra smart. Now I've actually got one of these brollies myself, but before the camo design came out, there's been a couple of little amendments to it to improve it. Um, let's take a little look at them. Now, first of all, the actual frame. They've got a new frame in here. It's a high tensile steel frame, but the main key to it is the fact it's flatter to the actual uh, brolly itself. So you haven't got a big bit sticking out. That was one thing I used to really hate about umbrellas, was the fact that you've got this pole sticking out or a little stub sticking out. And you're constantly banging your head against it. Well, this is right back now. So you've got loads of space in there. And also because of that, that means there's less metal on there. So it actually makes the whole brolly a lot lighter in general. Now obviously it's made with the same high quality Aquatex material that Aqua are famous for. You've got these nice little wings on the side here which offer a fantastic amount of uh, protection when the wind and rain's coming in from the sides. Um, just makes it that little bit more cosier. And obviously you've got the option to raise it up. You know, you've got fittings here for storm poles so you can have it a lot higher and uh, you, know, you can really make it a rock solid setup if you want to. Now as you'd expect, the brolly comes in a nice slim bag, also comes with pegs and obviously the pole to actually pop it up with. As I said before, I never actually thought I'd use a brolly again, but um, a couple of years ago I got one of the fast and lights myself, the normal green one, and actually used it for one night, ended up using it for about six months after that. Absolutely loved it, brilliant bit of kit. Right, let's see what else I've got in the camera range. Well, as you can see, there's a fair few bits in the range, so I'll start with the bits and pieces and then we'll move on to the fish gear products. So, first of all, some nice stuff sacks, three different sizes, obviously designed for whatever you want to put in there, um, ideal for scales, etc. This is definitely a favourite of mine and one that I'll certainly be keeping, um, is a pillow case. You've got the nice camo effect on one side um, and you've got this, this sort of shiny material. Um, some people prefer that sort of thing on their head, some people prefer this nicer quilted material. That's a bit of me, I think, that side. But obviously you can put any pillow you want in there. I am a bit fussy with pillows. I like a nice goose feather one. <laughs> so I'll be popping mine in there and taking that fishing with me from now on. It's a bit of a funny one, can you guess what that one's for? First of all, I thought it would be for my gas, but it turns out it's for a toilet roll. <laughs> Perfect size of toilet roll to go in there, but I'm sure your gas bottle would fit in there nicely too. Something for your net. Net, what do they call them, a net stink sleeve or something? <laughs> Obviously, when you're putting your net away in your car, the less water that comes out of that and the less smell, the better. So a nice camo net sleeve there. And then for the people who like to use the rod holders without all the full protection, um, the carrels if you like, then this just slips over the top and also they clip together. Nice bit of kit, that. Now, also got two fantastic wastelings to have a look at. This is a standard one. Once again, I've had one of these for many years now and it's always served me extremely well. Really strong, nice tough handles there. You get a good center of balance with it when it comes to weighing. And as I said, with the other material, you know, it's this real nice quick dry stuff, which makes all the difference when you have a fish late in the session and you don't want to be going home with stinky wet gear. That obviously comes in a nice little sling, nice little bag to go in, waterproof one. And then this is the new version, which is a floating retainer sling, if you like. Ideal for just popping them in the margins for a short while whilst you get yourself sorted out. And uh, yeah, I'll certainly be keeping this for my collection, that's for sure. Really well designed bit of kit. Floats as it's meant to, to keep the fish well supported. You've got a cord on the end here, just to uh, tie it up to. And then once again, really nice strong weighing handles with a good center of balance got the combi mat which is a fantastic mat I've got one of these myself in the green color but now I'm gonna have this one <laughs> a nice camo and you've got a flap on this which just unzips so you can cover the fish up when you need to this is really nice fast dry material um, which is always a bonus and then you've also got carry handles on the sides 
So it just makes it a little bit easier when you're transporting the fish to and from the lake in a sling. Really nice thick padding, as you can see. And there's good, I don't know what, three and a half, four inches of thick, dense padding there. And it's also got a raised bit around the edge. So there's a bit of a lip there, which obviously just helps keep the fish on the, on the flat surface and uh, stops them sliding off. And the last couple of features on this, it's got a nice pegging point for when it gets rather windy and you don't want your mat to blow away. It's got a carry strap on the side and then also it comes in a really good quality waterproof bag. Again, just to keep that smell away and uh, to keep it all nice and tidy. Now underneath the combi mat, we have this nice roving mat. If you're stalking, floater fishing, or just you know trying to travel light, then this is absolutely ideal. Once again, it's got a nice flap on there so you can secure the fish if you need to, um, just while they're, to keep them calm, etc. Once again, it's got this nice quick dry material. Obviously that flap just velcros into place and this one just rolls up and simply got these nice little elasticated bits at the end. Fold over it, like so. And then last of all, it has actually got a nice little carry strap in the middle as well. Brilliant bit of kit that, for when you want to travel a little bit lighter. Last but certainly not least, a very neat and tidy little net float, which makes things a lot easier when you're netting the fish on your own. Stops the net from sinking down out of the way, and so makes your life a little bit easier. Now this is just the start of the range from Aqua. You can expect plenty of other items to be introduced in the future. And as usual, it is absolutely top quality stuff.